For 30 years, Tom Gayford was front and center on Canada's equestrian team. The foundation of success built by Gayford included the 1959 Pan Am Gold in team eventing, a 1967 team bronze in show jumping at the Pan Ams in Winnipeg, the historic Olympic gold medal in Mexico City, and the equally incredible team gold medal at the World Championships two years later in La Ball, France. The constant in all those wins was team. And throughout his career, Tom could best be described as a coach on the field. So when the time came for him to transition out of competition, his role as chef de keep was a job he was born to do. Tommy's father was the chef de mission for us uh, in 52, and, and he was outstanding. And Tom had those same qualities. They both were outstanding, and when it comes to team, they are locked in and, uh, and very dedicated. So I, I think everyone has respected Tommy tremendously as a, as a team captain and the leadership he provided during uh, many, many years of international competition. If you're on a team and trying to win a, win a Nations Cup, you, you've got to have Gayford in the team. He, I have never met a person that is more driven than that man. I mean, he would run a horse through a fire truck, and he just, um, he is absolutely fearless. Tom would take that fearlessness and lead from the front. With Tom Gayford, there was no question who was in charge. You could always hear Tommy at the horse shows. Uh, He'd be uh, quite vociferous when he was instructing. Well, usually you can hear him first. Tommy uh, usually announces his presence uh, vocally. He would shout at the Queen of England if he thought that you know that something was going on or wrong. And and um, I mean, just he, he was sharp. And I'll tell you, I don't think there's anybody I've met that knows the rules as well. He co he concentrates on the rules. And if he can't beat you on his horse, he'll beat you on the rules. Everybody has respect for Tom. You know, Tom is tough. Tom uh, sometimes uh, says things that, you know, in an outburst or something like that. But everybody has respect for Tom because, uh, you know, they, they know what a, a good horseman he is, all around horseman from rider uh, to coach to teacher. Tom would be chef to keep for almost 20 years and would be at the helm for some tremendous international accomplishments. And true to his competitive spirit, even on the ground, you could feel his presence. He was competitive as a rider and as a coach he was just as competitive. There was no change in Tom at all. If you stood near him uh, when one of the team members was going around, he'd likely kick you with his leg jumping up and down as the horse was jumping over the fences. Now the vertical, now it. And they've done it this time. They're over that vertical that was the rail in the last round. Just the two to go. Two jumps away from the title. Tom's jumping up and down, so are we. Look at Tom Tapert and Ian Miller. Boy, oh boy, are they happy. Well, what a right they have to be. What a performance. And Aramis, the greatest horse in the world. Mario Gloria, the greatest rider. Isn't that something? They've done it. They came out with all the pressure on and had a clean ride in their second round. Accepted the challenge. Mario Delorie and Aramis from Canada, the World Cup champion. However, for all the amazing victories, it was the knowledge Tom imparted that would touch an entire generation of elite equestrian athletes. He's brought along a large number of young horses and young riders. I don't know of anyone who ever rode on a team that Tommy was uh, in charge of that didn't gain from his uh, expertise and his assistance and his help all the way along the way. He's an ultimate team guy. Don't overschool your horse. Don't leave it in the schooling area. Save something for the ring. And and uh, just generally speaking, he was on top of things with, uh, you know, always standing between between the federation, between the horse shows, between between the other teams, and always, you know, making sure he was he was right there to to serve as that buffer and to. To let you focus on your job. When the big moment came, yes, the energy just <laughs> flowed out of him and you knew exactly what he expected you to do. On the other hand, I say again, if it went wrong, he was still your best friend. 
Tom would retire as chef in 1996, but he continues to coach and influence the sport with his incredible knowledge and understanding of every aspect of equestrian endeavors. A couple of months ago, he came to me and he says, you know, the way we're running this right now in, in this particular rule is maybe not helping these kids out so much. And, uh, and maybe we should look at that. And, he, you know, he knows that I sit on the rules committee. He was dead hot. I went, you're right, that's a no-brainer. His timing is still incredible from the ground watching you. So, again, back to the big voice. It's, it's pretty useful when he says now. And you have to do it now. So he, when you're bringing a new horse along or you're doing something like that, in a sense, he's riding the horse even though you're sitting on it. He prepares our horses as well for the ring as he would prepare horses for important Grand Prix. Thomas Franklin Gayford's footprint on the sport stretches over 60 years. Canada's coach is a Canadian original, unique in every way. We're lucky to have him. And I've always said that from the very first time that I rode on a team with him. We're very lucky because he's a very unique individual. From the breeding end of it, to horse racing, to polo, to steeple chasing, uh, uh, to hunting, yeah, yeah to, to the eventing. You know, Tom's done it all. And he knows it all. I mean, he's, uh, uh, he's uh, an expert in all those fields. So you don't get, uh, uh, you, you know, like I said, I'm saying it again, we're so damn lucky to have a guy like him. He was brave, bold, and he just never lets up this man. Relentless and um, never gives up. To this day, Tom Gayford never gives up. He could get pretty excited sometimes, and he left you in no doubt as to what he thought you were doing or not doing, if that happened to be the case. But he, it was knowledgeable input. And I think that that's the key word. I, I think anybody that's ever been on a team with him respect him. We quote him often. He has some spectacular expressions. Um, <clears throat> he, he likes to say that when we get a little bit confused with our horses and we're, we're riding awkwardly that we're getting Twitter pated. He, if we're spending too much time in the corners, he says that we're lollygagging around. And if you go into the ring and you don't bring your stick and your horse stops, he says that that's going to war without your guns. And as a competitor, he's a, he never was thinking second, I can assure you. He was going for the herd every single time he walked in the ring. So uh, it's very strong personality and at the same time is very sympathetic and understanding and uh, has put in hundreds of thousands of hours to contribute to our sport. The intelligence he's imparted has to do with his horsemanship. I've watched him, so behind the scenes, in the barn, I've watched him bring horses with terrible injuries back and have them jumping unbelievably well, if not better than before. And the kind of work that that takes and the kind of patience and gentleness, which is something I don't know if Tom gets enough credit for, is his, his deep love of the animals. I think it's been quite a journey for Tom Gayford, uh, for himself personally and for the sport as well, because the way he's influenced and, and the whole thing and touched so many lives along the way has been extraordinary. A very, very good friend to my wife Lynn and myself. And uh, the things, the little, little and big lessons we learned from Tom and Gayford, we use every day. We, uh, as a group, uh, called Tom Coach uh, for 25 years. He was chef to keep of the team after he retired from riding internationally. He was chef to keep for every team event that I was ever involved in. And so the, the uh, moniker Coach just follows Tom around.